One of the keys to a long health span and a long life is social connectedness. Good relationships protect your brain, helping you to retain sharper memories for longer and better overall health. It's even been shown that the quality of your relationships at the age of 50 is a bigger predictor than your cholesterol level of what your health will be at the age of 80. Loneliness, meanwhile, has been implicated in just about every medical problem you can think of, including cardiovascular incidents, personality disorders, psychoses, and cognitive decline. Loneliness can double the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's disease. It increases the production of stress hormones, which in turn lead to arthritis and diabetes, dementia, and increased suicide attempts. It leads to inflammation and it negates the beneficial effects of exercise on neurogenesis, the growth of new neurons. Amazingly, loneliness is worse for your health than smoking 15 cigarettes a day. If you are chronically lonely, the risk that you will die in the next seven years goes up by 30%. So what can you do about loneliness? While the cure is not simply reducing social isolation because we can still feel lonely in a crowd, getting out and being among people is a great start. The good news is that older adults are generally better at emotional regulation. They are better able to control their feelings, are less reactive to insults, and pay more attention to the positive things in their lives, which tends to make socializing easier. If you feel socially awkward, however, there are programs and interventions that can help to ease those feelings. Book clubs, hiking groups, groups like Toastmasters or Rotary Club, and volunteer organizations, both secular and religious. Volunteering in particular can offer almost all the benefits of continuing to work. A sense of self-worth and accomplishment, and the daily interaction with others that causes the brain to light up. The data reveal that volunteering is associated with reduced symptoms of depression, better self-reported health, fewer functional limitations, and lower mortality. Of course, not all volunteering is beneficial. If you're stuck in a windowless room balancing a nonprofit organization's accounts and you don't get to interact with anyone, there will be limited benefits, if any. Ideally, you'll find a position that matches your physical, social, and cognitive abilities. It can be helpful to talk with a friend or family member to make sure that the requirements of the volunteer position are a good fit with your goals and aspirations. Finally, spend time with people who encourage you to grow, to explore new things, and who take joy in your successes. Try to find social situations that respect older adults and a role that allows you to contribute your accumulated knowledge and wisdom to a community organization whose goals you admire.